we've been interested in using uh, T cells modified with chimeric antigen receptors to treat uh, various cancers, particularly leukemia and lymphoma. And a, a lot of our work uh, prior to this is focused on trying to understand what T cells were the best substrate to engineer for this therapy. And it became apparent to us that there was a lack of fundamental understanding in how these receptors really signaled in T cells to get them to mediate their, their ability to kill tumors. And we thought that understanding signaling at a more basic level might help us uh, understand why some treatments worked, why toxicities might develop in some patients, and potentially how to design better, better receptors for future applications. So what we did, or more specifically what Alex Salter, a graduate student in the lab, did in collaboration with Dr. Polovich, who's an expert in uh, mass spectrometry, was to analyze uh, the changes in the phosphoproteome, or these are proteins inside of T cells that when a T cell gets signaled, uh, transmit the signals uh, to the cell to instruct it uh, to mediate its functions. And so what Alex did was take this approach to understand when you triggered a chimeric receptor, what were all the changes that occurred inside the cell that resulted in that cell uh, functioning the way it did. What was important, I think, about this study was that we didn't just look at a few molecules. We did this in a global, comprehensive way. And what we really were trying to do was construct a wiring diagram. How did that signal get transmitted to instruct the cell to do what it would do? One of the major findings um, of this paper was that different receptors can signal with very different strength uh, and with different kinetics. So if we then took those cells with those receptors and put them into animal tumor models, the cells behave differently. Some cells would some receptors would confer more rapid uh, cell division um, and also uh, more susceptibility to uh, losing their ability uh, to function, to sustain function against a growing tumor. The other thing I think that we learned from this study was that different chimeric receptors associate differently with other proteins inside the cell. And, and we think that, that it's those protein interactions that are responsible for altering uh, the signaling kinetics. Uh, and I think that's important in terms of future work where we now, I think, have insights that we didn't previously have in terms of how to design potentially better receptors.